Hello and welcome back to another academic class tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a few things about wall sweeps. Um, I have an image and that image again uh, being downloaded from the Google so we don't own any rights but what I'm interested in is the wall sweep. So I will create something similar as I have it on this picture. So in order to do that I need to go into big letter R Sorry, in this case, as this uh, Revit is 2018, so I need to go into the file, new, and then family. In a family, I need to find a metric profile. I need to click open. So once I click on open, I need to go for the lines tool. I need to draw the shape what I would like to have. So in this case, first of all, I need to get a distance. That's going to be, as you can see on the image, it's, it's not directly on the wall. Um, it's likely out, so I will use something like 400 millimeters from that side. I'm going to draw another 100 to the right, up by, let's say, 25. And let's go for another 100 and snap on the end. So I can use as a one or I can use as a several. So in this case, maybe if I want to have more of these, I can you know, drag to on the side and you know the gap will be as a, as a 150 but uh, the gap will be as a fifth so I'm going to place it over there and now I have two two profiles so what I want to do before anything I want to use profile usage and that profile usage should be as a wall sweep and then next step is a file save as family and then I'm going to type in let's say just simple thing again like wall sweep underscore one i'm going to click on save once i've saved it i want to click on load into the project and close and that's going to load into my project what i want to do next i want to go into 3d view again this is just a simple 3d um, box made from the walls and the next step what i want to do is i need to go into the wall and wall sweep and in this case i want to Click on edit type because I have only one type. So edit type, duplicate, and again, simple thing, wall sweep. So I'll click up here on that. If it is a construction and profile, now I can choose my new wall sweep what I just have created in you know two minutes ago, three minutes ago. So wall sweep. Also I can choose material, but in this case don't need it at the moment. So I'm going to just use wall sweep. Uh, without a material, I'm going to click OK and I can choose either I will apply it vertically or horizontally sorry, horizontally or vertically so in this case horizontally will be fine so I'm going to click up here, click over there and then click up here also let's say I want to have another one so I'm going to click reset like that, like so and like so as well click on modify, then I have two wall sweep again the wall sweep I can select and I can use temporary dimension. I can push it up or down. You know, I can um, get um, you know the distances in between and so on and so on. So I can do anything I like. Also, the, the wall sweep at the moment now is floating, you know, in the air. So in order to have something similar as we have in this image, you would probably use you know something like a model in place to create all that as it is in the image. That's pretty much it.